success my sliding door after three months of being broken not shutting properly it now shuts properly uh, so I am completely um, in shock I can't believe that finally somebody managed to fix it after watching so many people try to fix it and paying so much money um, I nearly had to get a start uh, think about getting a mortgage to stop paying for the repairs of the sliding door but anyway um, I found a I think desperation I made the video um, yesterday was it or the day before um, because I was really having a horrible time I really did think I'd never it was never gonna get this sliding door to shut properly um, uh, because I thought that I needed a new latch and couldn't find one anywhere um, and so I got desperate I made the video asked for help and at the same time I, I did loads of Google searching and I um, for the first time I, I searched in Spanish uh, as well as English and I found a parts supplier in Mercia which is really close to us and I, so I emailed them and they emailed back straight away they were really really helpful they said they're not a garage so they can't fix the problem um, but they recommended a new garage which is not on Google so that's why I, I never found it um, a new garage uh, also not too far away from us so I phoned them this morning and he had, he'd already watched the video the area campers at area campers dot yes had or, um, informed them about my problem and he'd watched the video so we went along this morning and straight away uh, uh, he owns it's a specialist um, they do it's called Seren automatic Seren automaticos or something I'll put a link in the description box at the bottom uh, um, have a look afterwards because it's really worth uh, it's a really good contract if you in Spain if you're in, the, in the Costa Blanca um, it, they, it, they specialise in, he specialises in uh, VW T25s, or uh, he may do other v, uh, camper vans, but um, he's got a VW T25, that makes a big difference. Um, and the, as soon as he looked at the sliding door, um, he said, I know what the problem is, I'm going to get it sorted for you within an hour or two. It, and he said, my, my van had exactly the same problem. So, uh, I, wow, well, I thought, oh my goodness, but of course, at the back of my mind, I'm thinking, he's not going to fix it, but yeah, I, I hope he can fix it, <laughs> but so many times my, my hopes had been raised and dashed, you know, I'd, they'd say, oh yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll fix it, and then, you know, you start to hear the huffing and puffing, and time goes on, and you know, three hours later, and there's loads of uh, scratching of heads, and uh, stress, and and they say, sorry, we can't fix it. <laughs> so uh, I, I tried to distract myself by playing the ukulele and uh, the recorder. And um, I looked out of my window and he looked at me and he went, like that, and what? <laughs> it's done, wow, oh my God, what, really? I couldn't believe it. So I uh, you know he's, he's, he's wrong, he's, he's made a mistake. He, he, he's, gonna, he's gonna try and it, after three times, it's not gonna work. It might work two times, it might work three times. So, I got out of the van very like oh. <laughs> and tried it and oh my god the sound of the proper click oh my god not instead of the, that clang 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 we'd be, we'd be trying to slam it shut and it'd be hitting metal that shouldn't it shouldn't be hitting it'd be clang 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 oh my god for three months we've had to do that anyway it went click <laughs> Oh, the most heavenly click. Uh, and I tried a few times, and sure enough, it, it worked every time. Oh my goodness! But I'm still, I'm, I'm still in a state of shock. I still cannot believe that it's fixed, and that we don't have to ram it and ram it and ram it, and and then put a bungee rope around the handles to keep stop it from sliding open. Oh my goodness! You know, we can. When I stop, and I, you need to jump out and. Oh, I don't know, go and pay for some petrol or I went to the, nipped into the supermarket, I can just jump out, run to the side, open the door, I don't even have to lock it anymore, and get my bag, slam it shut, 
and go, it's not an unwinding business and, oh God, and all the slamming and oh my goodness. So in, in one hour, only took him one hour, uh, he took off the latch at the, at the bottom, the back of the door. Um, and he, I watched him cleaning it, blasting it with air, I think he did. And he, the bottom, I think he told me it was just the bottom one that he had to make sharp again. I think it's gone rounded. Um, I don't know what else he did to it, but it, he, he basically made, made it right, made the, made the latch right. Uh, I'd been told that it was wouldn't be possible to make, to do that, and so that's why I spent ages trying to find a replacement latch. But apparently, it is, and it's obviously much better to. That's what I thought. We've got some people walking past. Um, it's obviously much better to keep your original part. And, oh, did he's did he's closing the door? <laughs> She's making some friends with some old Spanish people. Um, yeah, so I still got my original piece. I don't have to buy, find a replacement latch. Um, I don't have to pay for a replacement latch. Uh, it's just fantastic. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, and he was, he's so good. He we, uh, went, we, we, we went back. No, before we left, before we left, after we finished repairing the uh, the latch. He noticed that I had some spots, of, some black spots underneath the engine bay, and he he at first thought it might be oil. Um, so I went, we went back for, in the afternoon because in Spain they shut for siesta. So we went back at four o'clock, and he discovered that uh, something where, at the top, I don't know what it was, um, had broken off, and diesel was leaking all over my engine, and it was going. Uh, there was a lot of it. He said. So it's 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 such a miracle that I came across him um, because not only did he prevent the police from stopping us and taking the car off us because of the sliding door, um, but he also prevented a fire. Uh, our engine would, without doubt, have set on fire, and that would have been it. That would have been the end of the camper van. Um, so it's, it's a miracle that we came across him. Why didn't I come across them three months ago? That's the same thing I'm thinking. Mor two morals of this story. Um, don't wait until you're feeling absolutely desperate and you've waited three months. I'm saying this to myself as well as you. Uh, until you really, 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 really focus on sorting out the problem and you know, doing loads of searches, uh, asking around, emailing, begging, um, asking everybody for help. Don't wait three months until you've, you know, really hit rock bottom and you're really unhappy and you're really just because it really, really just completely worn me out because I, I was so worried that the police would take the van off us. Uh, we'd never find the replacement part. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to scrap the bloody van because of one part. So it's don't wait three months. If you need, if you need something repairing nip it in the bud pull out all the stops to sort out the problem uh, because you know really I, I, don't, I didn't prioritize it like I should have done and the other moral of the story is if you've got a specialist car a special car don't go to a an ordinary garage uh, to get something tricky sorted out if it's something like changing the oil servicing uh, changing tires things like that yeah go to a normal garage but if it's something like a, a weird sliding door um, or any anything unusual then don't even bother going to a normal garage because there's no I would never go to a normal garage again for something like the sliding door because they could spend of weeks trying to hammer it and slam it and yank it about and file it down and they still wouldn't get it to work. I went to that specialist garage and after one hour, he, well immediately he knew he could fix it and within one hour it was working. And it's not just it's not just that the latch is working out, it fits like a glove. He's, he's got it to fit absolutely perfectly. So yeah, two morals. Don't leave it till you're absolutely desperate and totally fed up. Uh, nip, nip these things in the bud and 
go to a specialist garage. Now, I told this mechanic that um, I'd make a video to let everybody know how I'd got the, the sliding door fixed because there's so little on the internet about these sliding doors and why they don't shut, you know, what, what could be the problem. There's so little on the internet. I spent ages trying to find something, couldn't find, could hardly find anything. Uh, so if you if you, it just keeps clanging and clanging and it won't stay shut, sure, it slides open when you're driving, it's probably the latch and they are fixable. Um, so anyway, I told him that I'd make a video to say thank you uh, and to let everybody know how, uh, how I got on, how it was fixed. Uh, so thank you so much. I can't, I don't, I didn't get your name. Um, I can't thank you enough. You really have saved me from complete desperation and misery and it was, it was just getting worse and worse and I was getting more and more unhappy and more and more stressed. You've relieved my stress and you honestly have taken off such a weight from my shoulders. I really feel like, uh, you know, there's, we're going to start having some fun now. So thank you so much and um, I hope you get some business from this. And if you're in the cost of, you, if you own, own a camper van or um, in any van, uh, any kind of vehicle, go and see him because he's so good and cheap he was really really cheap as well I won't tell you how cheap <laughs> but he was really cheap um, <clears throat> uh, details are in the description box not just for the mechanic uh, the, uh, and his new garage which is Seren Automa Automaticos in oh god where was it uh, I think it was Calusa de Segura which is in the Costa Blanca, in the Valencia area. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll put the address in the description box, but also the spare parts uh, shop who were really prompt, they really replied to me straight away, it was so helpful. Um, and they're areacampers.es. And I had a look through their website and they seem to have quite a lot of parts, a lot more than parts that you'd get in, in, in English uh, websites actually. So I'll now put a link to them in the description box as well. But most importantly, of course, in my video that I made yesterday or the day before, I did say that I would get married if somebody fixed my sliding door. And so that's it. So um, a mechanic, um, you know, I hope you noticed that. You know, we can't break a deal promise you know we, we had a deal you fixed my door I was very specific I did say whoever manages to fix my door I will marry now you knew that before you fixed my door so I want you to know I'm going to nip down to the uh, bridal shop tomorrow Saturday tomorrow hopefully they're going to be open get myself fitted for a nice uh, cheap dress you know don't want to splash out too much 50 euros Actually, now we're going to go to the second hand shop, charity shop. We're going to get a Caritas one. And um, I'm going to meet you at your nearby church Saturday afternoon at uh, 3 o'clock prompt, okay? Uh, don't let me down. Um, Lottie's going to be the bridesmaid. She's really excited. Diddy's going to be bridesmaid too. She's actually going to be flower girl. So, yeah, we're so excited. We're really looking forward to it. I can't believe it. At 46 and finally I'm going to get married. Oh my gosh. I've got my sliding door fixed. I've got my engine sorted. That's not going to explode. And I'm going to get married. So it's just wonderful. It's, it's, this is the happiest day of my life. Oh God. So, yeah. Anyway, um, wish me luck on my wedding day tomorrow. Um,